guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, uh, finally my new barrels came in after a two month wait. Um, I thought it was gonna be like at least six months or at least three to six months wait, but uh, it came within two months, so I'm happy about that. So just this wheel specifically is gonna get rebuilt. Um, same specs, but just newer barrels uh, due to the fact this one has a curb rash. Um, this wheel in general was involved in a crash and this one was the most heavily damaged. Uh, if you guys were paid, uh, pay attention um, to my old video where um, this, vi uh, not this video, this wheel had like a huge dent but a crack right here and then a dent right there. So yeah, you guys could see that major difference right there. Uh, anyways, um, this is finally gonna be replaced. Um, so if I knew these barrels were gonna come sooner, I would have not fixed this wheel. So if I knew, but uh, they finally came in, they're in here. Um, I'm gonna be dropping these off at my friend's house uh, since he he knows how to assemble this uh, correctly. I want this to be done correctly. When it comes to three piece wheels, uh, two barrels are gonna be attached together. And then of course this um, seal has to be sealed properly and then i'm gonna be reusing this old um air valve and it should be all set uh other than that um yeah air tends to leak out here mostly so um just to reseal it correctly uh just make sure you guys apply a thick layer or you cover up most of the cracks so air won't leak out to seal it you're gonna you guys are gonna use the silicone right here um, I could just do this myself right now, but I don't have the uh, specific rivets or a screw for these nuts. I don't, <laughs> I, I really don't have it. So, and my friend has the proper ones. So he, he's going to do this all for me. And yeah, uh, pretty expensive. Um, I'm going to be dropping it off to him by later today. And hopefully he could be done in like a day or two. So I have the tires mounted. And then I'm gonna be handing him off um, this as well. Just gonna put this right here. Yeah, so far the uh, SSRs are on the TL. Uh, it kinda looks weird with those. so everything is almost finished the only thing i have to install left is this air valve and um torque everything down on top of that and then just seal this portion um of the crack so it won't leak and then we should be set um and then we could mount the tires now so uh, but the thing is why i noticed that um the barrel the inner barrel does not have an insert for the air valve, which is right here. So it goes like this, but there's no insert from the barrel at all. So there's a possibility my friend might have to drill. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let him do it since he's the professional. He, he has worked on this, but all the bolts I did are hand tightened. Uh, they're not torqued down. Um, so it's not really drivable yet, nor is it like drivable in general because of this. So, um, 
yeah, I'm gonna be stopping by my friend's house and then have him finish it up and then mount the tires. Let's see how. And so far, everything looks really good. Wow, looks so good. So, yeah, just need to mount the tire then set. Look at this man's work, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So right now I'm at my friend Donnie's place. Um, so he's gonna be wrapping everything up for these wheels since uh, he has more experience with three-piece wheels than I do. Um, but either way, if you guys don't know who he is, um, he specializes in most of uh, modifications to other cars, such as Lexus, uh, you know, obviously um, Acuras too, everything like that. So, but this guy has multiple cars, so he has a lot of experience, especially with installing bags. So if you guys are local around San Jose, or at least in the Bay Area, you guys can go to him, contact him. I'll link his Instagram down in the description below. So you guys can hit him up for any any um, Lexus needs. He's really good with Lexus, that's all I'm gonna say, but other cars as well. Uh, so far he is working on my wheels. He looks so stressed out. But yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let him just finish up right here and then hopefully uh, get this thing done and then get it mounted on my car. Yeah, dude, I've been cleaning it for like the pa uh, the past like thirty minutes. <laughs> cause it, cause you know how you told me there was WD forty on that shit. Yeah. I was like I was like oh man I should really clean that off then. Some of them were not tight though, that's the thing. Okay, that scared me though. That moved a little bit too freely. The hell. Yeah, see how these holes are weird, bro. They're hmm. not straight. Okay, or they're too um big, right? Cause look. Oh my God. I hate how it's at an angle. Dude, it looks like Venom just like trying to trying to play with wheels right now. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with putting together the wheel. Although, um, although it looks like a mess right now, the tire's not on. Well, the reason why is that we're gonna have to let the silicone dry. Um, and then, uh, and then we could just get the tire mounted and then the uh, valve stem is correctly assembled. Everything's all good. Uh, let the silicone dry for 24 hours. It stated on the uh, bottle itself, but I highly suggest that you guys let it cure for like at least two or three days. Uh, so, which is today's a Monday, tomorrow is a Tuesday. So I won't be installing this tire on a Wednesday. So I'll give it that little extra time, probably like 72 hours at most. If you guys have any questions about this install, just reference to the, the video and it's actually very simple. So hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.